Bill Clinton's <laughs> former strategist says he woke up every two hours crying and wet the bed after Biden's classified documents debacle. That's hilarious. This is terrible for Democrats. But shout out to him. He's admitting his stress and he was being tongue in cheek. He said, hey, I slept like a baby. I woke up every two hours and wet the bed because what's going on with this report into that. about. So this is about Joe Biden not being criminally charged. And the reason being he's a bumbling old dotard. And so they're telling this country, your president is not only a criminal, but he's also incompetent. I don't see how I don't see how Joe Biden could his polls and favorability could improve after something like this. I mean, you know, sure. Certainly something's possible. But now we're seeing the betting odds for Michelle Obama skyrocket. <laughs> I feel like that's something that gets said every four years. Michelle Obama is going to run. Four years from now, they'll say Michelle Obama is going to run. Well, they're not saying she's going to run. It's the betting odds. Mm. Meaning like people are putting their money down. That's it. I, I, I think she, I wouldn't bet on Michelle Obama. No. I, but I'm just so glad that we find this really was the first acknowledgement we've gotten from any sort of author, official person about his mental state. I mean, since 2020 or 2019, we've seen the gaslighting of America, of us being told, oh, it's just a stutter. Don't believe your lying eyes. And the thing is, we've all had family members and relatives that we've unfortunately had to deal with who have had dementia or Alzheimer's. So we can spot it in two seconds with him. And Remember, we've just been told to not believe it for so long. So finally, it's being acknowledged, I guess. Remember when, like, what, what was it where people said he pooped his pants? He did. It was like it was a lot of times. Well, no, people oh. say that about him all the time. I'm not saying no, that he no, no, his no, pants no. It's a, specific, it's a specific moment where he was supposed to have some kind of meeting, but he was late and then showed up wearing different clothes. And everyone's yeah, like, "Yo, I bet he pooped his pants." Maybe, <laughs> but I, honestly, the poop the pants th pants thing, he probably he probably peed himself. That seems way more likely. Like, I, 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 come on, like, hold on, like, let's be real. With all due respect. He's probably wearing diapers. I mean, 80 years old, yeah. he's probably wearing, it's likely, you know, so. That's kind of wild. Like what, at some point in your life, you just can't hold it anymore. It just comes out. Is that? I it? don't think that yeah. it's everybody, but it's like, as you get yeah. older, like, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Man. It depends. Well, it's not well, even, well, it's yeah. not even the number. <laughs> it ain't the years, it's the mileage. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love old people. Shout out to old people. However. Trump's old. Yeah. He's great. Who, someone told me that joke from, uh, what's his name? Is it Jeff Dye? I don't know. Jeff He's a comedian. Dye's a funny guy. Comedian, yeah. He said something like, I can't say I'm a Trump supporter it's because I voted for him twice and think he's really cool. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's really cool. <laughs> but here's, here's what Rachel Maddow said from the post line. Rachel Maddow says, Biden is definitely mentally fit for office. He rides a bike. He um, fell down on his bike. What are you talking about? <laughs> is that racist? I, did she broke really a hip say practically? That? Yeah. She did not really say that, did she? Yeah. Oh, oh post millennial. Thank you, Rachel Maddow. On Thursday's MSNBC, Rachel Maddow suggested the president isn't too old to be the leader of the free world because he rides a bike. The assertion came in defense of the president after Biden 81, multiple gaffes. We get it. Dude, did you see that he called Mexico uh, the Mexican yeah. president El yeah. Sisi? Yeah. The, the, he's had he's had like five. I, I, I got to be honest. There's an exponential decline when people's brains are failing and the build like as the proteins fail and the, and the problems are building up, they build up faster and faster. And it's a cascade failure to the point where they 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 die like old people will die. And it's like one month you're noticing problems. Two weeks, two weeks later, the problems are, are getting serious. Within two more weeks, they're it's just yeah. whoosh, whoosh, rapid. Yeah. He's had so many gaffes in this past in this past week. I'm like, oh, the engine's sputtering right now. It's like he's he's two years past at life expectancy. The, life the, expectancy. Yeah, he is. And the fact that like so it's clear to anybody that will look and take a sober, honest view. There are people in the Democrat Party that are serious people that are actually saying, look, we've got a problem, et cetera. There, there are pundits that are saying the same thing. Um, the, prob the biggest problem that we have now is the people that are going to swear up and down that he's fine. The people that are going to push back and say, no, he doesn't have any problems. The people that are going to fight if you try to actually use the 25th Amendment, this should be unanimous. He is in control of the most advanced, not the largest, but the most advanced nuclear arsenal and the largest military, most powerful military in human history. He has the ability to wipe small countries off the earth on a whim. If, like, if he were to say, hey, we need to send the Marines in, they go in. Like... Having a person that is 
not capable of making decisions in that position is not good for the world well, or for the country. We can go back a couple of years. And this is when Joe Biden accidentally called, uh, what was it? He called Syria, Libya. Yeah. And so he was giving a speech and I'm like, could you guys imagine what would happen if he was giving orders and he's sitting in the situation room? This is why I think it's fair to say that he's not all with it. Some people think he's completely not running the show. I don't think that's completely true, but mostly and likely because imagine you're sitting there. Someone delivers a report to Biden and he's like, right, what do we got? And he flips open the page and it's like, we are seeing a, a, a large amassing of weapons being delivered into Syria and Iraq by Iranian forces. And he's like, okay. A couple minutes later, some talk. And he's like, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want a couple, uh, uh, can we get an airstrike in Libya? And they're like, what? I said, you heard what I said, but Mr. President, no buts to me. I want it done. No, but you said, no, just do it. Do it. Bomb Libya. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we bombed Libya, I guess. That was my That's fear two years ago. And now I think everyone around him is like, He's not well. Anything he says, they're like, okay, we got to fix this. Oh, it's so bad. The the Mitterin thing, the, 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 the guy who died in 1996, yeah. he's like, his his memory is like erasing and he's moving back in time. That's why I really don't think he's the one calling the shots. I mean, after last night, I'm not so sure, but this whole time I've been very resolute that he will 100% be on the ballot again and be running this time because they found their perfect puppet. It's weakened into Bernie's. They're just carrying <laughs> this corpse around. And that's why, I mean, I lost a lot of faith in this country after 2020 for many reasons that people were so fine putting a demented corpse in the White House. But, but I've not seen Weekend at Bernie's in since I was like a little kid, but like don't people eventually discover it's a corpse? Will they? I don't remember. I haven't seen it in a long Hopefully time. we're no. getting to that point. I don't remember <laughs> if it's revealed at the end or that's not. That's hilarious. I don't remember. <laughs> that was a great movie. Week 1989. Let's I see. Mean, uh, Again, I, I I feel like I gotta reiterate, like yep, the yep, they they eventually have to expose, revealing that uh, uh, Bernie is dead. <laughs> Maybe we're getting like, to that point, please. What if, what if we seriously get to the point where they just come out and they're like, every video you have seen of of Joe Biden in the past eight months in the past eight months have just been edits we've made. <laughs> we've just edited old footage wow. of him together because he's not been here for some time. Thank you and have a nice day. They'll cut to the side and just show the hand up there going what if, like this. What if they do that right before Trump wins just so they can, you know, throw the country to disarray? I wouldn't believe That's it. Like, I don't know. Right. Only Joe Biden's capable of that many gasps per minute in a speech. Yeah, even AI a can't match it. No, he, it makes it him look master. smarter. It yeah, would be I, fakes make him look smarter. I hate this word gaffes because I feel like a gaff is when the truth accidentally comes right. out. It's not a gaff. Nah, it's mental uh, incapacity. No, no, no. A gaff isn't the truth. A gaff, like you could you could misspeak because like, you know, every so often someone has a brain fart or something and you gaffed or, or you gave the wrong number. You know what I mean? I think with Biden, we're seeing his true mental state. Right. It's, it's, I, I agree with it. We shouldn't call it a gaff. A gaff is like, whoopsie, I, I said the wrong. What, what did I say? I said Germany. I meant France. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because it happens to people. Yeah. It happens to me all the time on the show. But Joe Biden's brain is failing. And so this yeah. is not a gaff. Mm -hmm. This is like the accelerators to the floor. And that's the most you're getting out of it. Mm hmm. So that's something different. That's like a performance issue. Yeah, like I said last night, it's like career-ending statements that he's made. The, any other comp, <laughs> comp, like competent politician would be out. Like, remember, what's his name? The the Biaw guy after that. That's all Howard he did, Dean. and he was yeah. done. Oh, Howard Dean, that's Biaw right. Guy. That's, that's that's all, all he did, took. and he's gone. That's all it took. We have we have, we have uh, traversed a great distance in this <laughs> nation <laughs> from the we point have. at which a guy could say <laughs> yeah. Yahoo or Yeehaw or whatever, and it would disqualify him from office to the yeah. point where a guy could think he met with a bunch of dead people, but I have to be completely honest, guys, have we stopped to consider the fact <laughs> maybe he that did. maybe he did. He, the veil has become so thin that perhaps Joe Biden has seen through it. I think he is. And Mitterin was helping. standing right there and he said, Joe, come, give me your hand. And he's like, what are you talking about? He's that, like, just come on. The Mitterin thing's like, that was from the 90s. Yeah. Like his, <laughs> his brain is back, so is like back where it was in the 90s. I mean, you'll hear like women, old men and women that are demented will like be remembering They'll think they're, they're seeing their wife again that's yeah. been dead no. for 20 years or whatever. No, it's because the veil. He's so close to it now. It's before him. And Mitterin is standing right there saying, come, Joe, join us. And he's like, I got work to do, man. The veil of like the go the spirit world? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's about to cross over. You know what I mean? He's starting to see the spirits everywhere. <laughs> we can't see him because we're all far away. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs>
It would be funny if like Joe actually became like started conversing with spirits and was like, <laughs> I met with Mitterrand and then he actually starts talking about things like how, how, wait, Joe didn't know that. He, started, he, started, he, started, he talks about Mitterrand's like children and like he said he told me that, you know, he buried your your locket under the tree with the black stone by it. You know which one? Like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's how did you know that? And he's like, the veil. I can see it. <laughs> Reagan came back and talked to him and said, wow, you make me seem like I'm of sound mind. I mean, Good is Lord. it is it bad that we're making fun of? Uh, we're, I think that he needs to be made fun of. It, it, like put his fingers on the button yeah i mean it, like we really do need another president we can't have this guy for four more years we can't have i don't think we can have him for another 20 minutes i mean <laughs> well i mean i would love we can. I, I would love to see but him. every minute he's in office is a failure i agree i i would love to see him removed from office as well um we'll at, get at kamala point, harris and she's no better i'm fine with that she's cognitively <clears throat> fat, like av available that's all i need right now i disagree even if they're an evil person i take that over <laughs> demented because I don't demented think, is i don't think it matters I think, the same, I think the same people are pulling the strings regardless <clears throat> maybe but at least someone that's clear-minded can be like not going to tell me that they talked to a 90 like a dead guy and that Egypt is Mexico and that he's he's in charge of the military he's surrendered our military to the Taliban like oh and he's, he's just and, a mess of and a if president. you're from a red state or a green state he's just had like seven yeah green I, I'm not no green what state. is a green state they're not Come gaffes on. anymore they're not gaffes yeah. they're episodes thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.